It's lupus. If you've ever watched House, you'll know that a lot of the cases involve lupus or SLE, systemic lupus erythematosus. Why is that? Lupus is an autoimmune disease that affects multiple organ systems and can cause a lot of different kinds of symptoms. I kind of want to bring these up to you and explain what exactly it is. Um, this is a shortened uh, lecture. I, I have an extended one, but lupus means bite of the wolf uh, from ancient times. Um, they, they had a characteristic rash that people said is kind of like a wolf. Um, so basically, there's an easy way to remember most of the symptoms with lupus. It is a complicated diagnosis to make. Just because you have these doesn't necessarily make the diagnosis. And um, some people still have the diagnosis without all these, and especially if they happen at different times. So there's an easy way to remember them. Um, the, the word is dopamine rash, each letter correlating to different symptoms. And usually they say if you have four of these or more at a given time, it probably is lupus. And uh, if you have three and then one at a different time, a little bit more uh, likely. But let's go through these. So D is discoid rash. Um, people can get these little blotchy rashes. If you Google them, they kind of look like discs. Uh, o is oropharyngeal lesions. A lot of people with lupus tend to get sores in their mouth that are kind of unexplained. P is photosensitivity. People with lupus tend to be very sensitive to the sun. Uh, a is arthralgias or arthritis. Um, a lot of people with lupus can also get rheumatoid arthritis and things like that. People with autoimmune things can be predisposed to more than one of these things. Um, a lot of times these people have aches and pains that are kind of unexplained. M is a malar rash. This is one you should know. It kind of looks like a butterfly, basically shaped like this. Um, a lot of people come in having that. doesn't necessarily mean that's the rash. Sometimes it's rosacea. Um, but uh, a lot of times that is one of the key features. Um, the next one is I, immunologic phenomenon. And there's a bunch of antibodies that you can test for. Um, there's anti-double-stranded. Uh, anti smooth, or sorry, anti double stranded DNA, anti smooth muscle, anti rho, anti la, and anti histone. And these can kind of help break down exactly what's going on. Uh, N is neurologic changes. People with lupus can have headaches, they can have seizures, they can have strokes. Um, there's a bunch of other things. E is sed rate, ESR. Um, so uh, all autoimmune things can cause an elevation of the sedimentation rate. It kind of shows that the body's overactive in the immune department. Uh, R is for renal changes. Um, lupus especially, um, some of the severe forms of it can uh, damage the kidneys. Um, so you need to monitor that. Uh, a on the next A is um, ANA. So the big, the big test that people use is uh, ANA test. Um, this is a very sensitive test, which means that almost everyone with lupus will test positive for the ANA test. Um, but a lot of people have a positive ANA and don't necessarily have lupus. Um, they, they got a little bit better with the test and they kind of give how, how reactive it is and kind of like a pattern of how the speckling happens. And it can kind of help narrow it down as well. Um, S is uh, serositis. So lupus can affect the linings around the heart and around the lungs. These people can have chest pain and uh, have trouble breathing. Um, sometimes that can kind of point you in the right direction. And then H is hematologic abnormalities. Usually people's red blood cells, platelets, or white blood cells will, will go low. So these, these signs, once again, that's dopamine rash. You can look it up online. They have them all listed. They kind of help point things. Um, this is a very complicated thing, but what do you do about it if you have it? So lupus tends to define itself early in the course. Basically, the, sets that, the symptoms that you have in the affected organs usually don't progress to, more advanced, to other um, organs and systems. So someone that tends to just have the skin changes and the, the arthritis and, reno, and, um, and the lab values, they're probably not going to go go too crazy with other things. Um, lupus can get really bad because it does kind of interfere with the rest of the immune system and can cause all kinds of things. Um, the The big danger that I've seen a few times is is its effects on kidneys, and they can end people up in the hospital. Um, there's we live in a good time now. There's a lot of medications out there and a lot of modalities. Almost all of them 
pretty much bring down the immune system. It can be very effective, um, but uh, side effects are a little tricky to manage sometimes. Uh, usually people with lupus do need a rheumatologist on hand, but uh, we have plenty of patients uh, with this and we kind of help out in overall managing it. Um, if some of these things um, kind of match up with what you're feeling, you should get it looked into. Um, I could go on and on and there's a lot of stuff. Maybe I'll do the full lecture one day, but um, uh, that should kind of give you an overview. Dr. John Sweetek from Sweetek Medical Center. Like our Facebook page uh, or check out our website for more information and videos. Thank you. Have a great day.